Well, we're out here for water, water. Just got a towel back here. And I noticed it was up the side of the furnace. Don't know how the check valve got busted, but it did. Don't have a check valve on the truck. It's not something I normally carry. So, I'm going to change the pump out. Change the pump out. It's been a busy day. a supplier saying I can't get a heat exchanger for <laughs> till mid-December I think it's a whole COVID thing side or would it be yeah I'll just would have been easier just to move the two but that's all right gonna start leaking on me here in a second because the furnace just came on spot.
brakes in the way. some zip ties. Eh, sure. eh, we'll hook up the low voltage too. Just gotta get in there. Let me go grab some zip ties. Oh, let me get this on here. zip ties okay got our high voltage tied up plug got that taken care of now do the low voltage and this is not an easy spot To the low voltage. Yeah, hope I don't have to ever change a blower on this one. Because that would suck. And we'll tie this into the red. 24 volts because it's condensing furnace. If it wasn't so colorblind, it would be easier. Take this and go here. And I will take this and put it under a red or R. There we go. Easy condensate pump change. Did them a favor, tied in the low voltage for them. So if it does happen, they know who to call someone. But that is it for this one. We're going to water test it and we'll be out of here. All right, guys. We'll see you.